Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and today I'm going to walk you through how to use my new JD Painted Sky digital background and grass overlays. The first thing we're going to do is extract our subject. So here I am going to use this image of my daughter. I'm going to use my quick selection tool and it's set at around 30 pixels with around 50% hardness. And I'm just going to trace around my subject. Most important thing is that I get all of my subject. If I get a little bit of the grass or a little bit of the background, that's okay. But I want to make sure that I have all of her important details. Once I feel that I've captured her, I'm going to go ahead and get my background and overlays. Now, depending on your preference and your application, I've made this download folder in two ways. You can get it as a PSD file, all composed, or you can get it as individual background and PNG files, and then you put it together. Today I'm going to show you how it works with a single PSD file. If you prefer to work with the background file and overlays, simply go into the folder and then you will see I've separated the folders into light and dark background versions. Each has its background, each has three grass overlays. Now I'm going back into the PSD folder and that's how we're going to begin this demo. So let's go ahead and open up that PSD file. So let's talk a little bit about the resolution. I've set this up to be extra large. It is square and it's 8100 pixels by around 8100 pixels. Don't let the 72 dpi fool you because as you see when you set it to inches and 300 dpi, this is more than large enough for you to get great prints. That means that it's big enough for you to be able to crop horizontally or vertically. I already have my subject selection copied, so now I'm going to paste it in. I'm placing it right above the layer as instructed. Now I'm going to analyze how I want to crop this. I'm given a variety of different popular ratios. So first I'm going to show you how this would work were I to decide to do this as a vertical portrait oriented image. However, I'm going to make it into a horizontally oriented image, a landscape, so I can look at it a number of different ways and decide what sort of a crop I would like. But before we finalize our crop, let's talk a little bit more about fitting our subject into the background. When determining size relationships, I look closely at my subject and the things that are right around my subject. So in this case, the grass. And I am going to try to make a good decision about how big she should be relative to the things that are closest to her. In this case, I think tall grass goes up to just about her mid to upper thigh. Now just as a reminder, this grass in the foreground, it's closer to us, so that can be a little taller. We're concerned about the grass that's right next to her. Okay, so let's start getting rid of some of that extra stuff that I grabbed when I did my quick selection. I'm going to select a black soft paintbrush and now I'm going to go into the mask and I'm going to start painting out anything that is not part of my subject. So going around her hair and I tend to like to do this with a lower opacity brush and do it very softly, take my time, going around these areas with a low opacity brush will make things not look so cut out, which is a really easy giveaway for composites. And then go back, pick out a different brush, set my opacity to a higher level, and I will start going around the areas around her dress and leg and again I'll keep the edges of my brush soft but this time I'll have it more at about 100% opacity so I'm going to go right along the edges and just make sure that I have everything out of there. Now I'm just going to do this really quickly because I want to move on in this tutorial so it's not going to be perfect but you get the idea. I want to show you how customizable this background with its overlays can be. So I'm going to actually move my subject up. Let's say that I want this to be horizontal, but I want to get more of the clouds involved. 
I'm going to move my subject up, position her where I want her, and then I'm going to grab my grass and I'm just going to go ahead and move my grass up as well. Now I'm going to go and select my crop tool and again when I do that it's going to give me different options for the ratio. I'm going to select a crop that I like and just go ahead and crop in. Here is an important point though to remember when you're doing this. Always save as or save as a copy. You don't want to change your PSD template file. So just give it a different name and you will be fine. Okay, I just want to show you one more thing about how you can customize these files very easily to suit your individual taste. So let's go up here to this top layer. Now, in the download that is for the background and PNG files, I've made two versions, one with and one without this layer. However, if you're in the PSD file, what's kind of neat is that you can go in and tweak the opacity here. So you can essentially change your exposure to whatever you want. And you can go into the mask. You can remove some of those effects from your subject, as I'm doing here. You can even go into the folder itself, and you can turn on or turn off various adjustments that I've made in order to create this darker version. So you can truly customize it to your heart's content, and I hope you have a lot of fun and you really make this background your own. Additionally, feel free to play with adding and taking out some of the different layers of grass. They can all work together or separately, your choice. Can't wait to see what you do with it. If you haven't done so already, please join my group, Beautiful World Actions Overlays Textures on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.